what's up youtube it's leah's mom ty and today we're shooting in the backyard we're just chilling out here so today we're going to be talking about my office renovation so stay tuned All right, before we get into the video today, I just wanted to kind of um, tell you guys about, so when I first toured the house, I knew I was gonna be getting the smallest room to do my office, but I did not know this room was gonna be this small, but I absolutely love the house since I was like, I'm gonna have to make it work. Um, I didn't wanna spend a lot of money on pieces of furniture because usually the more money you spend, like the bigger it is and everything like that. So I wanted to uh, find, small inexpensive items that wouldn't break my pockets but would look good in the space so i painted the walls um i um the only thing that's still the same is the carpet so um everything else is new to the room and so um i'm gonna um start the clip here and then i'll be back Okay, we'll start at the beginning. Before I begin though, those of you that um, seen my last video saw that I started a glitter wall. And as you can see, I have painted it back to the original purple color because after about two, um, after about, I wanna say three, the third application, the wall still did not look great. Um, and I used the Rust-Oleum glitter paint. It was $19.99 a can. If you have any small spaces, like a wall maybe this big, maybe the applications wouldn't be that much, but for a wall this big, you would need no less than about 12 to 15 cans of paint, which is a lot of money. So I decided to, since I already still have my bare uh, paint, in the purple color decided to just paint it back and also paint my um closet door purple also and so that is why this wall is now back to purple because i am not made out of money and i <laughs> could not justify buying 12 cans of paint and not being 100 percent sure it was going to turn out right so back to the tour I wanted to show you guys how I have a super small office, but I wanted to really utilize the space and not spend a crap ton of money on, you know, furniture. So this is an ottoman that I bought from Myers. Um, I don't, I'm pretty sure Myers is everywhere, so I won't even explain where that is. But this ottoman was $118. I had, um, when I bought it, it was a lot of uh, like trade um thread and everything like this right around here but on the other side so i got a manager and i got 25 percent off on this and then i just turned it around and put the fray even though when i got home i cut it off with um scissors and you barely even notice it that's why i didn't turn it around because you wouldn't notice the difference so i turned that part around to face the wall just in case it ever starts to unravel anymore but yes, and so I bought these two bookcases together as a bundle from Walmart. Cost $75 for the both of them. Um, both of them are white. And um, I closed my door to my kitchen because my kitchen is not clean. And <laughs> so I'm gonna turn, this is my sliding door. And I bought this from Amazon for $75. Um, I also had like a $10 gift uh, um, stipend thingy from them for delivering my package late. So technically it was $63. And um, I also bought this L-shaped desk from Amazon, which was $75. And it is super sturdy. Um, it is... Um, you know, uh, it is uh, space accommodating. Basically, it's not big because, again, this office is super small. See, that tour is over. <laughs> it's all this 
to the space but I wanted to do a whole bunch with a little bit of space and I was able to do that because I also do um eyelashes on the side so that's what this here is when my client comes I just I set up my um my bed and this goes over like that and so that doesn't have anything to do with my desk um and of course that's just a shredder and um um what's that called like a, a filing cabinet basically that's how I use it but I spray painted it white it was black you can see like little <laughs> spots so well, that is it I'm just gonna do another 360 here and this is how my office is set up so if you have any questions about that comment down below and I'll be sure to answer them for you. And this right here is my wedding collage. I wanted to show you guys. So, I don't know. It's kind of glaring. You can't really see none of those pictures down there. I can, I can kind of see the top ones. But, oh well. That's it. That's it, guys. So as you can see, that glitter wall was a fail. And I was just not going back trying to figure it out. But if anybody knows of any, like, good adhesive, maybe, glitter walls... For right now i'm just gonna leave it the way that it is because it's clean it's simple and it is very light um and if you have any questions about any of the things in there um i'm not linking it down below because i did mention in the video where i got it from so you can just kind of figure it out yourselves if you know you're interested in it um and if um, if you had any questions about it, definitely give me a um, comment down below. Don't forget to like this um, video. Please comment. Please subscribe if you haven't. And thank you for watching.